Well, hi guys. The following video takes place May 24th and 25th, a Monday and Tuesday. Uh, I didn't take any video Monday because the conditions I were, was in were just nasty is not even the best word to put it. <laughs> uh, just no place to put the camera without it destroying it. It was so dusty. Uh, we went from mud to dust. And my poor little camera can't handle the dust. But this kind of follows along with the problem that has popped up on the 1850 as far as the way it runs. Pulling a disc fine, but it is just not smooth, running smooth like it should. And I keep getting air into the injection pump. So this kind of goes, follows along with what happened and how it happened and what I did. So I hope you enjoy, so sit back and enjoy this is an issue I've been fighting with all day I've done everything I know to do to it going through the fuel system so Harry's coming up tomorrow to go over it uh, I'm at my wit's end so oh, it's kind of in that, mm-hmm, what is the deal? I'll let you know tomorrow. We'll be back. Wanted to add this. Uh, 1850 was running funny yesterday evening. And I bled the pump again. And I really do not know where I'm getting there. And it is starting to really irritate me. Because I've been through this fuel system today twice. And I cannot find anything loose or anything wrong. Uh, but obviously... Something's not right because it's letting it suck air. So, Harry's coming up in the morning to look it over. Uh, I've done everything I can think of. I've gone from the fuel tank to the injector pump. I can't find anything wrong. I've bled this pump three times today. So I know there's a leak somewhere. It's kind of, it's not leaking fuel, but it's a leak where it lets it suck air. So this is an issue I've got to get figured out. And it's making it run like crap. So uh, it's not having any trouble pulling a disc at all. I mean, it's handling it fine. But I don't like running an engine when it's sputtering and spitting. So Harry's coming up in the morning. So maybe I'll get some video. I don't know. I'll have to ask him if he wants to be on camera. Yeah. A little wet looking there. Hmm. Check into that too. So, let's see what happens in the morning. Because I really don't know. I just, I'm at wit's end. I'll put it that way. I'm just beginning to wonder if maybe the fuel pump has. Has a leak? I don't know. 
I have not touched it other than the fittings. So I'll let Harry go over it and see what he thinks. Uh, it's got to be something dumb, I can tell you that. Got to be something really dumb. But guys, we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll probably put tomorrow on today with this. Uh, I didn't take any video today. Uh, it's just too nasty. Uh, too hot, too nasty, and conditions were horrible. Just weeds, you name it. It just, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you next time, guys. Okay, guys. Harry left a while ago. And we kind of went through this whole fuel system. Now, the only thing he saw that he wasn't crazy about was the copper washer under here. So he took it off and wrapped it with thread tape good to make a good seal. Uh, so far, so good. Now, we both are concerned about this right here. Uh, this thing wet, it's, there's a leak someplace and we can't find it in this injector pump. But, what we have discovered and what we're thinking, one of two things. Either that new fuel pump is not pumping right or possibly the lobe on the cam is worn where it's not quite pumping right. Uh, it's a possibility. Being this is, we don't really know the hours on this engine. So, I'm going to try it for the rest of the day and see if it straightens up or not. If not, we're going to try something a little different and go uh, get an electric fuel pump and bypass this. Just put electric fuel pump in it and see if that solves it. If that solves it, then we know it's either pump or cam. And he can said he can look at the cam with a scope and tell if it's war. So, as far as that goes, we're good. Uh, he suggested, being that we're having record high temperatures for May, take the side panels off because he agrees the fuel is getting incredibly hot. So, be a good idea to take side panels off to where it can move more air, get rid of some more heat. So, I've done that. So, uh, I'm going to get at it. I don't know if I'm going to take any more video disking today uh, or not. It's dusty, it's rough, and I don't want to tear the camera up. Uh, this has been hit twice today. Once at an angle and once straight. And it's looking really good. Uh, it's basically... About where that auger sitting back there back I've got to do plus the backfield and come up drop this hook the harrogator up and hit it uh, tomorrow they're calling for rain and there's no way I already know there is just no way in the world I can get this all worked up and planted in the next 24 hours it just it, I'm not gonna it, it just ain't happening <laughs> uh, so I may leave it like this right now that way if it does rain it'll mellow it some crest it we don't get a lot and I can run in here hit it with a harrogator spread the fertilizer hit it with a harrogator and go 
that's my plan anyway. So we'll see what happens here in a bit. So we'll be back here in a bit, guys. Let you know what's going on. Down. Okay, guys. It's uh, 530. And I just got done. <laughs> uh, doing this. I know it's hillbilly looking, but we're going to see if I put an electric fuel pump in, I solve the problem. Uh, I don't know what else to do at this point. I mean, it's just, I bled, I bled, I bled, Harry's bled, we've gone through everything, and it's either the pump is bad, or the lobe on the cam is bad. I'm more inclined to believe that the pump is bad myself. Simply because the one I had gotten before this one was bad also. So, with an electric fuel pump hooked up to it. Uh, this is made for gas or diesel. Uh, I'm going to try it and just see what the heck happens, you know. Uh, in fact, uh, here. Let's see.
said, it's going better than it has so far. Uh, I think for testing purposes, I'm going to hook up the moline disc to it. Simply because it's 90 to 80, 90 degrees. And I need to, I don't need to try to get it hot. I need to try to get it working and see what's going on. So I'll be back here in a bit, guys. It's about 8.30. I'm calling it a night. I honestly don't know what to think about this thing. that injector pump. Going through everything else. Being a dust ball. <laughs> That's what I am right now. So, we'll call it here for the day, guys. So, we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. It kind of reminds me of the FSA thing, you know, even in hours of discouragement. This has been discouraging all day. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time, guys.